A Tennessee father of three has been shot in the head and killed by a career criminal after arguing with him on the way to his high school reunion. The victim's name, Christopher Wright, he was 33 years of age, a prominent businessman and a beloved father from Chattanooga in Tennessee. He was on his way to his 20th anniversary high school reunion at Baylor School in downtown Chattanooga on Thursday when he got into a fight with two men. Video surveillance showed the moment that Christopher Wright was shot in the head at close range by scumbag P-O-S-C-U-N-T, Daryl Roberts, 57 years of age. He's also known as Too Tall. That's his nickname because he's six foot six inches tall. The shooter, Daryl Roberts, was found and taken into custody the following day, Friday, 4 p.m. And this arrest was his 60th in his life. That's right. 57 years of age, arrested 60 times. And lucky him, he's never served a prison sentence. So well done, Tennessee. You keep arresting these guys throughout their adult life, perhaps even throughout their juvenile life and you give them a pass time and time and time and time again guess what their criminal activities continue if not escalate the scumbag will now face a first degree murder charge in relation to shooting and murdering father of three 38 year old christopher wright tennessee authorities finally see fit to take effective action they've set his bond at five million dollars that effectively means that he'll be in jail until he faces trial the victim christopher wright leaves behind his wife their eight-week-old child, her name Aprilia, and two young boys, Declan and Abbott. There is a GoFundMe. It's raised quite a substantial amount of money, over $400,000. And I'm going to comment on that, and perhaps you'll find this inappropriate. I like GoFundMes. I think GoFundMes serve a, a very good purpose. I see some GoFundMes, and the target amount, the goal amount, is extremely modest. A few thousand dollars, perhaps five, perhaps ten, to help with financial assistance to cover the cost of a funeral, Typically, the income earners within a household will need to take time off due to grief. That means there's a softening, a lessening of the income that's being brought into the household. There's a genuine financial need for support. And I think it's reasonable to ask for the global community to provide support if they're able to. So I do support GoFundMes. I just get a little saddened when some cases which are truly tragic only get a certain amount of support. And then other situations, other tragedies can be equally tragic. Don't get me wrong. I'm not downplaying the situation by any means, but $400,000 is a huge amount of money. This GoFundMe has been extremely successful, and it just saddens me to a degree that there's just not more equality with people's generosity, for whatever the reasons happen to be. But in any case, I don't mean that in any disrespectful way, certainly to the, the victim and their family. Well done for them for getting such a large amount of support. I'm just expressing my opinion that I wish other GoFundMes were able to equally get a, a good amount. In any case, I'll I'll move on. We're told by witnesses that there was a dispute, a verbal argument between the victim and the shooter and that resulted in the shooter walking straight up to the victim, Christopher Wright, and placing the firearm against his forehead before shooting him at absolute point blank range. Absolute point blank range. The gun against his forehead and the scumbag with 66 previous charges pulled the trigger. Witnesses of the crime said that the victim, Christopher Wright, and the shooter, Daryl Roberts, had a verbal dispute, an argument, that resulted in the killer walking straight up to Christopher Wright, placing the firearm, the gun, against his forehead, and then shooting him. So, the scumbag shooter shot and killed the victim, Christopher Wright, at absolute point-blank range. The gun literally against his forehead. He pulled the trigger. Again, we're told that the shooter, Daryl Roberts, has a litany of charges against him. 66, never served a day in jail. Most of those charges brought against the shooter previously have been somewhat trivial. Not completely trivial, but compared to murder, pretty trivial. So his previous charges include theft, traffic violations, vandalism, driving under the influence, I'm not sure if that's drugs or alcohol, possession of prohibited weaponry, domestic assault, public intoxication, and other charges, which include one charge in 2010 for first-degree murder. So this guy has faced a first-degree murder charge previously. However, those charges were dismissed by the court, perhaps due to a lack of evidence we don't know. So there we go, this guy, this shooter, Daryl Roberts, at least 66 charges since the early 1990s, most somewhat trivial, but including one count of first degree murder. Yet he's never served a day in jail. Perhaps Tennessee authorities have failed, society have failed Christopher Wright and his family. Again, he leaves behind his wife, his eight-year-old child, and two young boys. Seemingly, he was minding his own business, going to a 20-year high school anniversary 
anniversary, gets into an argument with a random career criminal, and that random career criminal puts a gun to the victim's head and at absolute point-blank range pulls the trigger. So this absolute piece of shit needs to spend the rest of his days in jail, no question. Tennessee authorities ought to be absolutely ashamed of themselves for having left this scumbag run riot for decades, committing crime after crime, failing to be a contributing member of to society, to be a wart on those people that he came into contact with. No more, Tennessee. You put him away for the rest of his life and you look at other career criminals and you refuse to give them chance after chance. That's what you need to start to do, Tennessee. You need to start to wake up. If you let criminals get away with it time and time again, well, you're giving them a pass to live their life how they see fit and clearly they're criminal degenerates. They're going to do whatever the F they want. Things will escalate. Their crimes will escalate. Their danger, their risk to society will increase. And this is an excellent example of that, in my estimation. Daryl Roberts faced over 66 criminal charges over his life, yet never served a prison sentence. Pathetic. He should have been locked away a long time ago. I'm going to wrap things up at this point. If you appreciate the coverage, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video as you see fit. If you're in a position to consider joining my memberships, please do. Drop a super thanks if you're able to. But I'll thank you for your time and take care.